Okay, people, today I'll be showing you the upgraded hot air balloon garage that I personally use every wipe. Here you can see me testing the ground for the first foundation. You must try to keep the lowest inner foundation at about waist height. If you place them too low, the balloon will deflate. I'm going to start off with a simple circle base design. The inner ring gets lined with wall frames followed by a layer of walls above it and finally a layer of square roofs. With security in mind, I look around the base and choose the highest foundations to upgrade to stone. This area is where the TC will be located. It is unlikely that you will be able to place the inner foundations such that it is impossible to crawl underneath. So upgrading these three can block off the odd high foundation. You can place the TC on the same level as the doors if you wish, but I prefer being able to run freely around the ring so I use the wall frames to elevate the TC above the walkway layer. The metal floor will discourage most from soft siding the floor. You can always use a door instead of the window, but the window is extremely cheap and you can easily store enough upkeep inside the TC to offset the slight annoyance of replacing the window. Now you can upgrade the rest of the structure to wood. Do not upgrade the inner triangle foundations as these will be demolished before we are finished. I use the spiral stairs to climb up to the roof, but you can use whatever method you prefer. At this point, the build is mostly finished, and we can demolish the leftover twig. Here you can see the heights of the outer foundations, if any are lower than waist or possibly knee height, the balloon will likely deflate. You can use the heights here as a reference. As you cannot reliably spin the balloon, you'll need doors surrounding the inner circle. Now we are completely finished. For the rest of the video, I will be landing the balloon into the tower. I did not practice or prepare in any way for this tower. The hot air balloon in rust goes up in a conical spiral, meaning that while it's going up, it's also traveling in a circle and each circle gets progressively larger. However, the reason the circle gets larger is because the balloon moves faster as it gets further from the ground. This is not altitude or height above sea level. It is completely dependent on the distance between the balloon and the dirt. If you fly over a hill, you will noticeably slow down and vice versa. With this in mind, it is best to build the tower on top of a smooth hill so that you will slow down as you approach, giving you more time to correct your angle. That being said, there's many ways to land the balloon and as long as it's open to the sky, you can always drop it in from above with enough practice. The balloon can and will get stuck, at home and abroad. Very rarely you will line the balloon up perfectly with the tower and it will be permanently stuck and require you to break it.
This is still a perfectly viable method of transportation, so don't be discouraged if you get unlucky a few times. After more than a year of using this design, I have had no more than a handful of catastrophic failures. The balloons are free and cheap to move. Even I have bad days and leave the balloon out to decay every now and then. If balloon gets stuck on the inner rim, you can very carefully allow it to go up and slide back down the roof. With a bit of momentum, the balloon will slip right in. In this video and my last one, I deal with this issue and you can see firsthand how to solve it. As you can see, this takes me three attempts to actually get it inside the tower. The good news is, once you find a viable approach angle, it will never change. Sometimes I like to put lights or a sign indicating which side is the best to approach from. At the end of the day, this design relies on a simple two-story circle base with outward-facing roofs. If you use half walls underneath the double doors, you can put this design on top of any pre-existing base. You can make it larger. You can make it more economical. This is the bread and butter of storing balloons. Thanks for watching.